Hello, uh, salam, salam sejahtera. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this, and salam bola sepak Malaysia. I am uh, Carl dari para bola sepak, and today we are doing a very first episode of Bola at YouTube. With me today is uh, our producing team. Yeah. Uh, hi, nama saya Abid dari semuanya bola. Hi, saya Sharil dari semuanya bola. Ah, so dalam bola uh, YouTube ini kita ada dua segmen. Uh, part one kita talk about Malaysian football, local football semua ni, yang di Malaysia, ranking kita, and so on so forth. And part two kita kena cakap pasal EPL, Bundesliga, Eredivisie, and so on so forth. So right. part one sekarang ni kita cakap pasal bola sepak Malaysia. Piala Malaysia banyak game dah cancel sebab jerbu. <laughs> so uh, let's just talk about the games yang dah the happen uh, Kedah vs Lions Kelantan vs Langor and um, last game is uh, T team vs Sabah so Kedah vs Lions uh, thank god lah Lions kalah thank god sebab uh, <laughs> memang itu jadi saya punya eternal mission kot nak tengok Lions crumble macam tu kan bagus lah bagi Kedah tapi itulah Kedah kan ada uh, Ban Suhuan dia merajuk sebab tak dapat main game uh, yang kalah 3-2 tu hmm. Jadi, so dia jadi apa lepas dia berajuk? Dia balik Korea ke atau dia stay? Tak, don't, uh, tak saya, saya nampak dekat Instagram dia uh, Dia dah dekat plane, dia dah cakap dia dia merajuk dia Basically dia dah balik dah balik Korea dah sebenarnya Oh ok So contract terminated lah? For sure? Uh, itu saya tak berkongkong lagi tapi dengar kata macam tu lah Contract hmm. dia terminated lah So okay. any updates? Uh, kena cakap, kena tengok balik kat sini punya bola <laughs> Sure, sure Ok, uh, next game Kelantan vs Selangor Selangor, 13 tahun? Selangor 13 fans. tahun, first time menang kat Kota Baru So, walaupun on goal Still, kalau tengok game tu, first half Selangor main cantik lah So, untuk saya, terbaik Ya, yeah, team ok, cuma saya tak rasa yang Team Selangor season ni boleh menang So, kalau kita dapat, uh, Selangor dapat Pergi suku akhir, separuh akhir Itu pun dah cukup terbaik uh, Before that, uh, I, I watch the game And, I, sorry to say this lah But, it's a tale of two terrible teams Yeah, is 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 a apa, a punish mistake that yeah. got Selangor the goal. But however, Kelantan tak raise the game. Even Selangor they just absorb the pressure and they just you know they 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 won it in the 90 minutes because yeah. Kelantan didn't really Sebab, went for it. Uh, kalau perasan sejak uh, Mehmet uh, take over Selangor, hmm. Selangor punya gameplay memang uh, wing. Absorb, yeah, hmm. oh, defensive, right? defensive, very defensive. defensive hmm. uh, seram pun. Mostly on counter. Is it because of uh, I'm sorry to drag this uh, longer, lah, tapi is it because of the personnel they are there, or memang dia nak dapat play saya attacking tu tapi tak dapat? Uh, so on. Mungkin sebab Mehmet uh, dulu defense, mm. so gameplay macam tu yang dia suka. Mm. So at Selangor basically kalau siapa yang kaji gameplay Selangor, biasa kalau Selangor akan counter guna Andi. Mm. So kalau lawan yeah, team, team team yang dah tahu strategi tu, dong jaga Andi. Basically Selangor dah. Oh. But so far there's there was hasn't been a team yang boleh cope with Andik punya yep. apa, creativity on the yep. uh, on the wings lah. Okay, uh, next game uh, T team versus Felda two one. Uh, T team two Felda one. Um, yes, T team very close to da- dapat promoted to the first super league. Tapi however in the previous game they won against Kelantan apa three one. You know so yeah thoughts on T teams. Uh, ini bukti writing. ini bukti Liga Perdana punya team ni. Eh? Dia punya gap dia tak jauh tau dengan Liga Super punya ah, team yeah. Ini memang uh, pelik lah kat Malaysia Sebab uh, Liga Perdana punya team ni basically Boleh boleh pick Liga, Liga Super punya team ada, any ada, day Ada kekuatan any day. Hmm. Is that uh, an incentive of uh, kita underdog dan kita nak uh, beat dia orang Or what what is it? What what is motivating uh, them? Tactical attitude mm-hmm. towards game tu Basically kita masih lagi belum mencapai satu uh, level of discipline dalam tactical yang terbaik jadi itu sebab kot uh, Liga Perdana punya tim boleh beat Liga uh, Liga Super punya tim Sebab dua-dua tim tak disiplin jadi it depends on who got the most luck lah hmm. dalam tim tu Dalam hmm. match tu Alright, uh, uh, one last question before we go to the heads um, Yes or no to expansion of the Liga Super to 16 teams? Um, or 18? Kalau yeah. tengok sekarang, no No, no, no Anytime in the near future? Uh, okay, ni apa yang saya dapat daripada interview dengan Kevin Ramalingam tu Dia cakap uh, boleh nak expand kepada 22 teams, uh, 16 teams boleh, tak ada hal Cuma masalahnya, 
uh, kita ada cuti raya, kita ada cuti yeah. macam-macam cuti. Jadi uh, dengan jerepunya lagi jadi banyak banyak Ramadan yeah, lagi. Yeah, okay. kan? yeah. Jadi banyak benda ni buatkan game bertangguh-tangguh. Jadi bila semakin banyak pelawan yeah. yang yang semakin banyak team dalam liga tu. Jadi okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk that in a future episode. We ah, sure. zoom yeah. into the topic. And maybe we can have a more finite discussion about it lah yeah. Okay, let's just talk about the Jerubu sekarang You know, banyak game dah postpone I think yang disadvantage is JDT Because they have a semi-final game Exactly uh, In the AFC Cup And they have to contest in, in like Many uh, fixtures are piling up yeah. In their yep. sense So, thoughts, quick thoughts on the uh, his situation and also immediately to JDT So, in future, kalau kata lah uh, uh, Sorry, sorry uh, I, I nak cakap pasal jerebu kan okay. pasal yeah, kesihatan definitely, definitely. so kalau macam player ni kata kan in future dia orang dapat penyakit berdasarkan apa yang dia orang main dalam keadaan menjerebu sekarang ni hmm. so basically dia orang ada insured dia orang ah ada insured so that's a question for PFAM ah, so. any case that's been found yeah and also is that an attempt to if a case is found is that attempt to bring it up to FAM bring it up to social media to the papers yeah. and so on okay so uh, again indoor training facilities Yesterday, uh, today is Monday, we're recording on a Monday yeah. Yesterday, Sunday, uh, 15 players were called up to the national side uh, Reported for training yeah. And they're all semua train masa jerubu PSI uh, uh, Appolution Index, sorry IPU of apa, dekat dengan 200 plus hmm. whatever semua tu Is that common sense? This, this should have those facilities, those indoor facilities for them to accommodate uh, Exactly That's just what? Budget? Budget, <laughs> budget so. Tak, masalahnya banyak kot uh, Seriously, memang dia orang loaded kot FAM Sepatutnya dia orang kena ada sediakan facilities macam tu yeah. In case kalau hujan ke, in case kalau uh, coaches nak buat uh, technical training ke kan hmm. Touches kan, tak semestinya buat kat padang kan Boleh kat buat dalam indoor So again, uh, this kind of topics kita boleh zoom in lagi in the future episode yeah. uh, Let's just move along uh, forwardly and let's just talk about the hot topic issue of Malaysia ranking dengan yeah. coach next coach quickly about uh, Malaysia punya ranking <laughs> um, mengecewakan 171 hmm. teruk tanya apa khabar <laughs> teruk kan so kalau nak tahu macam mana nak kira ranking dekat web kami semuanya bola.com ada bagi tahu cara nak kira tapi benda ni menggambarkan yang bola sepak kita ni dah dia dia Bola sepak kita meningkat, meningkat Tapi dia punya progress rate tu Masih lagi perlahan berbanding Timur Leste, berbanding uh, Philippines hmm. Sure lah dia orang pakai naturalized player kan Tapi itu menggambarkan yang ke, uh, ke, Keinginan dia orang punya Persatuan bola sepak untuk hmm. progress So kan? their intent yeah. hmm. Do we have the, the intent to go forward? Hmm. Okay. Uh, next on the list is Who is the next person to take over? Quick speculation Sekarang ni calon siapa? Ashley Westwood uh, Boyan Boyan uh, Masa dia sayi Ong Kim Sui Ong oh, Kim Sui Tapi Ong Kim Sui memang takkan dapat <laughs> yeah. Memang takkan so, dapat uh, dia I, I respect him I, I really Yeah exactly uh, Respect him as a coach and a manager He has brought up so much talent Into yep, the nation yep. scene You know macam mm. place like Ifan Fazahil yep. Fatih yep. Sarani mm. Obviously <laughs> uh, Nazmi Faiz, Gary Steven Robert, Adam No, Adlin hmm. Is another player yang memang admire kita tengok um, Oh, another person that you can put in the list of the next coaches to take over is Brandon Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see Brandon Rogers, yep. you know, taking us to the next level of character Hari Brandon Rogers jadi manager Malaysia adalah hari kucing mula terbang Okay <laughs> Ridiculous to even think about it yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Hashtag Rogers in <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's about it for part 1 of uh, Bola at YouTube uh, We're gonna go to part 2 in a bit So do catch us on that Thank you very much guys for your support uh, Quick thanks to Pixar Works for this amazing facility yeah. for And also contributing to local Malaysian local football Sure, sure. Alright, thank you On to part 2 Hello guys, uh, welcome to part 2 at Bola at YouTube yeah. So, so Karen, uh, right now we're going to do talk about um, European football. We're going to start about La Liga, Bonus Liga dengan Premier League. Yeah. The big weekend. Yeah. Super Sunday. Super Sunday. And Saturday, spectacular Saturday? Yeah. More or less. We can, we can, we can say that. Okay, so first on to touch is uh, Sevilla versus Barcelona. 
no Messi no Messi no party uh, saya tengok game tu uh, memang walaupun dengan streaming yang buruk kan thank you Astro uh, actually game tu uh, Munir Al Haddadi ganti tempat Messi hmm. kemudian uh, dia sebab kesilapan Jeremy Matthew sebenarnya uh, membuatkan dua gol tu uh, gol pertama tu Jeremy Matthew tidur Kemudian gol kedua Sevilla basically masa game tu memang very decisive, very physical Memang dia nak win bola every time Dengan Stephen and Zonzi tu Dengan uh, Vincente Ibora yes, Basically Vincente Ibora ni uh, For your information, Vincente Ibora ni dia macam Fellaini tau Dia memang big tall man tapi main sebagai attacking midfielder Just to gain advantage dekat the final third bila The physicality aspect exactly. tapi, hmm. tapi game tu macam saya pun tengok Barcelona main power chances chip down create chance pun banyak ke sebab lah uh, itulah Sevilla lagi incisive kot dengan segi Rico tu on top of uh, memang tengah nah, form gila kot keeper dia tengah top form ha ah, tengah top form so, so kita tak boleh cakap sebab tak ada Messi tak ada party <laughs> that's the one tapi uh, like all the games during the weekend ada sort ada commonality team which I will get to in a bit yeah, sure. uh, so the next game is the Madrid derby uh, 1-1 1-1 so anyone catch the game last night? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think out highlight je tapi okay. best camera highlight tu memang uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo banyak miss banyak uh, banyak memampukan lah basically hmm. tak live up to the expectation hmm. Still living in, walaupun Messi tak ada, still living in Messi in the shadows lah uh, Not exactly, basically they're on par right? On par lah, uh, okay Alright, uh, so next game uh, Bayern New FC, Bayern New Chen yeah. Yeah. Versus uh, 5-1, 5-1. Uh, Saya tengok sampai 2-1 je Masa <laughs> Albert Miliang score tu uh. uh, 2-1 lepas tu collapse Tapi 5-1 Tak, nampak tak? Is it overkill or memang that's like stem on the authority? Yeah, kata. stem on the authority uh. Sebab uh, Lewandowski skor 2 gol Godzer 1, mula 2 gol hmm. Apa maknanya uh, Sebab uh, Saya antara orang yang Handle Twitter okay. tu So ingatkan bila dah 2-1 tu game makan Ada fight lah Ada, ada fight, fight lah Tapi bila bangun pagi, eh 5-1 <laughs> okay. What happened? What happened? What? Tapi, tapi nampak lah macam Jerome Boateng kan Baik kali kot dia pump bola ke space belakang uh, That's what Thomas uh, Churchill did say in the press, press yeah. uh, conference What did he say? Why Munich defenders in huh. essentially play as playmakers from the back. I oh, see. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. That's pretty so good. I mean, it's the masterclass of Pep Guardiola's uh, long passing and the, mm. the tiki taka yes. passing uh, that he is employing in the uh, by Munich near Vienna lah. Kira ni. So amazing, ikut kalau kat midfield dia ada Javi Alonso sebagai playmaker, mm. ada Thiago Alcantara. Oh, yes. Kemudian at the back when you ada Jerome Boateng. Jerome Boateng. Dia tambah Jerome Boateng. Uh, Sick, <laughs> so itulah cerita ni um, Then right now we're going to go to The English Premier League Sekarang kita nak cakap pasal Well The result of Everton versus Liverpool The result is Brandon Rogers Satu win. sama So any shock to that? <laughs> Tengok game lah Tengok uh, Basically high tempo game uh, Lukaku terbaik semalam Nesmith pun hampir skor 2 gol Kan yeah, ada satu period yeah. Everton pump ni berpul kan Kau-kau cuma semalam Full credit tu Minole Save 2-3 uh, Clear cut chance untuk Everton so, Ni kira-kira Minole fancy football lah Ya yeah. Ada ah, you go <laughs> Okay no Cuma-cuma uh, semalam Continue macam Tak ada Didn't really show up lah Didn't really show up mm. No I think The thing about Everton this season um, Diorang Did mereka tak ada Europa League ah. So with that, they can concentrate fully on the league ah, yeah. Like yeah. the first season when Roberto Martinez took over lah yep. So essentially, everything is going to that, back to that period But with more, yeah. of, a, more of a good reserves yep. compared to two seasons ago Tuh. Okay, now uh, we can talk about Brandon Rodgers in a bit after we talk about the next game uh, So Arsenal versus Manchester United, 3-0 uh, You guys are smiling a little bit Yeah, because I'm an Arsenal fan so Uh, basically, I ni good. Euphoria lagi good. Oh, still, still feeling it. Still, still high lagi ni. Hmm. Tengah boleh bayang lagi macam mana Alex Sanchez lepas uh, Matteo Dami punya tackle. Hmm. I mean, the first the first half was. Tapi kalau easy. tengok semalam uh, kebanyakannya game Arsenal dia exploit dekat dua tempat. Hmm. Uh, satu dekat Dami, hmm. memang Dami 
uh, teruk sangat semalam sebab tu uh, LFG keluarkan dia masukkan uh, Valencia so bila Valencia masuk gameplay MU okey dan bila Felix masuk that's more of a strength, uh, strength. contain and bila Felix yeah. masuk kalau perasan midfield MU lagi power hmm. lagi stable and also like uh, I noticed in the second half that uh, after Fellaini came on Peter Chai in goal didn't really know where to aim aim the ball because like uh, every time Peter Chai uh, launches the ball on the goal kick the second ball throws back to the menu okay. uh, so menu can still control the game a little bit yep. they still aim yeah. it but you know they, they left Arsenal unpunished in a sense yeah. but credit to the Arsenal fans for keeping it out I mean like Peter Chai seriously Cuma making it yeah. uh, big save semalam uh, masa minit 45 46 oh towards the end of the first half yeah. Yeah. kalau Marshall score ke game different, uh, different story different story so back in the game uh, back in the game hmm. uh, Mar- Martial Mar- uh, Martial uh, Martial Thoughts on you? Great thoughts mm. 36 million euros Ada satu clear cut chance je And dia Other than that uh, Basically dia Dah nullified lah Again that's a commonality With all the games That we have talking, uh, We have spoke about The Virtue of having A clinical finisher You look mm. at all the games You know yeah. It yeah. shows that A big striker Can A big player Can win new games When he It's clinical. Yeah. You know, look at Sevilla with uh, Ibora, uh, apa? Bundesliga Lewandowski, obviously. Uh, even in the Everton Liverpool game, you know the the, the two uh, the, the, the the big players, you know they did you know uh, contribute, but they need to be more lethal in the sense of the the, the final that, that final ball. You know that show again in the Arsenal game, and also the menu. Uh, the question for them is, can they over rely on uh, Martial? You know, can they over rely on him to bang in the goals? He has the potential to become a really good player, but can he, you know, can can he help Manu to go to that glory uh, days within the season? Okay, uh, can you continue at all? Until the material is still 19 years old. Yeah, okay. Jadi bila sampai satu masa material ni fuck uh, fuck something up, hmm. uh, family tak boleh over yet. Hmm. Sebab benda tu memang learning process untuk dia Exactly So basically uh, Tapi kalau tengok <coughs> dalam game MU Rooney tak live up to the expectation Nombor tujuh macam mana? Apa uh, Depay? Ah, Depay, Depay. Uh, So kalau nak harap material seorang susah hmm. I mean like again it's a team game yeah. It's a team, team game That should be played by uh, the 11 players It's field on the team by the coaches hmm. And again Arsenal responding after Olby Alcos Ya, yep. uh, cuma game semalam selain dia attacking Arsenal sebenarnya biasa yang dia orang selalu buat. Hmm. Cuma defensif di uh, defend wise semalam terbaik. Hmm. Then I mean, like the especially towards that one there was one mistake by Pemain Saka where he didn't clear up the ball yeah. quickly. So what happened was I think pretty sure they check you know with the yeah. back four dressing room drill drill and drill. So what a signing has he been to look at Chelsea. Yeah. You know, three one uh, down to Southampton. Uh, what's going on with Jose Mourinho? Uh, uh, to be honest lah, to be honest, uh, saya suka kot dia punya meltdown tu. Tujuh minit, tujuh minit atau satu soalan ni sedikit clear sah. Tujuh minit atau satu soalan just ramble, 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 ramble. Basically, it's a sign of uh, him melting down lah. Yeah. So next question. Um, orang dah tahu gameplay ni. Dah tahu nak jaga Fabrega macam mana? Uh, yes, itu satu. Kemudian dia punya reluctance untuk cuba pemain-pemain baru dia. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Dia stick untuk... Masih lagi. Uh, Ivanovic memang dah fan Chelsea dah memang figure head lah. Head figure kot. Hmm. So, jadi... Uh, dia dia orang fan Chelsea dah anggap dia lubuk kan. Hmm. Uh, opponent pun tahu attack kat mana. Mana. Yeah. So, so Baba Rahman lah. Oh. Uh, apa yang fan Chelsea nak adalah Sesat speaker tadi kanan hmm. Buang uh, Ibn Abish Kemudian kiri Baba Rahman lah Bagi hmm. dia chances kan eh. Tapi itulah uh, Kita tengok yang depan Interstitial break nanti Macam ni Chelsea main Kalau Chelsea still lagi masa macam tu Masih lagi kalah-kalah-kalah dan seri Basically that's the end lah So if let's say Mourinho Theoretically leaves or get fired or whatever Next person to take a job Ben Rogers? No <laughs> A return to Stamford Bridge. <laughs> Just for the sake of love, uh, 
Ambil lah Ambil lah <laughs> Okay guys uh, Thank you very much for This is part 2 At Bola At YouTube Yeah sure It's been great We hope No we not we hope We will be back yep. For episode 2 Part 1 exactly. Alright So from all of us Again thank you to Pixar Works for having us uh, Lovely studio Lovely Facilities that you guys have here And thank you again guys uh, Keep supporting us uh, Do hit that like button And subscribe Do follow us on Twitter I'm Carl from Padang Bola Sepak And also this two weeks During the international break I'll be taking over Tweet uh, Bola Tweet Bola So do follow that as well And you guys Semunya X-Mini Bola X-Mini Bola, X -Mini Bola. Mm. Alright thank you guys See you guys Thank you